Hi lovelies, it's Jane here. You're welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. If you're a new subscriber, thank you. If you have a tiny subscriber, thank you as well. So in today's video, I'll show you how to draft a corset with a queen and neckline. with an already made bra cup. If this is something you're interested in learning, please stick to the channel, watch the video to the end, subscribe if you're yet to do so, and put on your notifications so whenever I upload a new one, you get to be notified. So your measurement you'll be needing for this is your basic block from the shoulder to the waist. So on my screen, you can see I have my basic block from the shoulder to the waist. I have all of my measurements. I have the bust line. I have the underbust line, the waist line. I have also the that, the side that, and the waist that as well. Now for the bra cup we'll be using, I have uh, gone ahead to tighten the top a little bit more so that uh, it gives it um, some sort of roundness and it kind of gives it, makes it firm on the chest line. Now also after doing that, I have also gone ahead to mark in um, 0.5 inch from the center front line so from the center front line you know when you're drafting a corset you need to mark that division for the two breast um, areas so for the center front line i have marked in half an inch and i've connected the line towards the chest line and down towards the underbust line so you can see that my pattern has an underbust line if we're not using using an already made breast cup we'll just go ahead and and mark out our underbust line but because we are using a breast cup we're going to be retaking our measurements for the underbust so what i did was to place my tape from the shoulder line and because this cup is projected upward it has made the underbust line to shift upwards you can see that because of the cup that we added it kind of made the underbust line to shift from where it is on the paper to a new position and this is the position we are going to be maintaining because we are using this cup i hope it's clear so after we've gotten the placement of the cup on our pattern we are going to go ahead and then mark out the cup that is the size of the cup on our pattern so what you do is to just place it accurately how you want it to be on your pattern you can see that towards the armhole i tilted it upwards just so that i don't have lots of my boobs exposed at that point so i tilted it towards i slanted it upward towards the armhole then i went ahead to hold it down firmly and then draw out the curve from the underboss line to touch the armhole line and towards the um half an inch we marked at the center front line so i'm just going ahead to define the curves accurately properly so that uh we see the outline now because we have we are using a an already made a bra cup we are going to need to have to clean off um, the darts we have at the bust lines and then we are going to have to redraw our dart legs so that it stops right under the under bust line. I hope you understand. So I'm going to be readjusting my dart legs now so that my dart legs will start from the under bust line and it will stop right back at the waist line that is done we are going to be taking our bust circumference again also note that because we have placed the uh, bra cup on the pattern it's going to shift uh, the circumference of your bust from what it is on the paper to a new position so that is what i have just marked i will do the same thing for the under bust as well i will place the mark at the under bust then the waist is still the same as it is so what we'll do now from the point where we have our new um bust circumference and the under bust line we're going to be connecting from that point to touch the under bust line and from the under bust we reconnect back 
to touch um, the waistline so you can see from the previous side seam we have a new side seam has been formed courtesy of this breast curve so at the top of my breast curve i'm going to go and draw a guideline so this line will later on help me on how i will be placing the strap for um, the shoulder of this uh, pattern so i'll just go ahead and draw that guideline so that it will help us when i need it now you know that this pattern has a side that and we need to take it off so that the shape of the cup will come out exactly how it's meant to be so what i'll do is to go ahead and slash open my uh, waist that okay that way to be able to allow us to close our side that. so that's what i've done here i've opened up my waist that and then i've been able to close the side that so you can see because we closed that side that you can see that the the curve we have on, on for our corset has kind of shifted and we will need to redraw that curve so what i've done here is to place my bra curve back on my paper and then I went ahead to redraw the bra curve after we have closed um, the side that so it's important if your pattern has a side that it's important you close it and readjust the curve so that you get a proper fitting all right so after we've done that now i'm going to go ahead and clean off the old lines that we do not need anymore and then we are going to outline our lines properly now so you see what uh, we have we are working with at the moment i'll go ahead and outline my my lines properly so this is going to be what our corsets will be looking like after we have um, taken in our side that back to the chest line i remeasured it and after taking in the side that you've noticed there's a form of shortage at the side and you need to uh, reconnect that back to the, your pattern you need to reconnect that back to the side otherwise if you cut it out like that you are going to be having some form of shortage towards that area so that's what i've done here i've reconnected that little um inch that is missing after um folding in the side that next what we are going to do now is to um draw out the neckline of this corset to touch um the shoulder so from the armhole line i'm going to come in by 2.5 inch this will depend on how wide or narrow you want that area to be and how much of an exposure you want towards that direction but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be leaving it at 2.5 inch so from the point where i have um, my angle curve i'm going to come in from that outline we have on our corset at the top i'm going to come in by 2.5 inch and then we are going to use our curve ruler to connect from the shoulder to meet the point where we marked on the chest line of our corset so you can see how easy and simple it is so by the time you draw out this line automatically you've created your famous queen ant um, neckline okay so this is what it looks like guys after drawing out um, that shape uh, that curve on our pattern so our pattern is almost ready the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and cut it out so stay tuned watch till the end and see the way that i'm cutting out um, my pattern if you are a beginner please do not rush this stage because you might get confused at this point so just pay close attention and see the way that i'm cutting out my pattern the original um neckline of this pattern will not be needed anymore because we have a new neckline drafted out already so i'll be cutting that out i'll be cutting out the shape of the corset as well i hope you know that that point is not going to be needed and also the that that we still have at um the waistline leading up to the under bust we are also going to be cutting that out as well so when you cut out those two dots that are remaining you cut out the curve for the 
the corset and here yeah, that is it you are done with the front panel i'm going to just lay it down so you see what it looks like this is what your front panel for the corset for the queen Anne's corset should look like moving on to the back i have all of my measurements for the back i have uh, my neckline for the back which is 1.5 inch i have my waistline the armhole line uh, i have my bust line okay i have the dart also for the back so if you've not seen this like i said at the beginning i'm going to leave the description on how to draft this on the description box so coming towards um the back i also have the zipper allowance as well now towards the point where we have our bust line i'm going to come down by um 0 0.5 or 0 0.75 in depending on how low you want that um part to be i'm going to just go ahead and measure 0 0.75 inch below the bust line that i am going to connect with a slanted line to meet um the side of the pattern so i'm going to connect it slanted to meet um the side seam of our back panel this is just to give you some form of style line at the back okay nothing too major for the back the back is very easy and simple once you have it already drafted so i will go ahead and connect that and also went ahead to extend um the zipper line as well towards the zipper allowance area of the back okay so after doing this now i'm going to go up to where i have the neckline of the back i'm going to come down towards the part where we have the neckline i'm going to come down by 0 0.5 inch as well and also at the point where we have the neckline of the back we are going to also be extending our line out to touch our zipper allowance this is because that part is going to have an overlap or we are going to be um attaching a press button at the top of the back so now we've gotten that extension the next thing we are going to do is to mark out the design for the back so what we are going for is a keyhole neckline for the back of this pattern so I've placed my ruler on the point where I have that extension for the back and then I also placed it to meet uh, my style line for the back then I'm going to go ahead and mark out that curve going inward towards the back okay so just take your ruler your curve ruler and just um, mark out this curve and that is it for the keyhole and after marking it out i'm going to take it out this is what it looks like isn't this looking beautiful and easy so this is what your back is going to look like it's very easy it's very nice so the point where i'm marking out we are going to be cutting those points out we will not be needing those points so next thing we are going to do now is to cut out this pattern for the back please note that all of the pattern here at this point does not have a sewing allowance to them so please take note of that so that you don't get confused as to when to add the sewing allowance all of these pattern do not have a sewing allowance to them okay so right now what i'll do now is to go ahead and cut out my pattern and after cutting this is what we have I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please let me know in the comment section subscribe to the channel leave a comment and i will see you guys in my next video if you want to see a sewing tutorial let me know in the comment section thank you and have a lovely day bye